Hi, I'm Don Clark with FileMaker Pro Gurus and FMDatabaseConsulting.com. I'm here today with Kevin Hammond of DB Services in Indianapolis, and we're going to do an interview. And uh, I guess with that, we'll just get started. Uh, Kevin, can you tell me something about how you ended up becoming a FileMaker developer? Well, you have to journey a little further back. Um, uh, in the late 90s, I first started to build uh, web applications and uh, mm -hmm. Uh, got to see the power of that and really enjoyed uh, what that brought to organizations. Um, so I got this opportunity to, to work for a company um, that was using this FileMaker platform. And uh, they were actually working with a company uh, called GTE Mobile, which um, if uh, you recall, that's now Verizon Wireless. Okay. Uh, building um, a FileMaker application in FileMaker 6 and 5, that was doing synchronization, but at the time, to me, it was just another application that was that had a chance to do this great return on investment and rapid development. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I haven't looked back since. Since then, I've latched on and and uh, been on the ride, and hope to see the platform continue for the next couple decades. And uh, that's that's the how it all started. Okay, so you had other experience. What what other uh, languages did you write in, and do you still support? Yeah, well, back then. Um, I, w I had a lot of different uh, um, languages exposure. Um, I did some stuff way back in ABAC with SAP, some Java, uh, C at the time, uh, Visual Basic and so forth, but really in the commercial production uh, environment, mm -hmm. um, the web applications we were building back in the late uh, 90s were ASP uh, and you would see them using uh, a form of uh, access or or you would see it using MySQL, um, but that those those dynamic environments just took so long um, to build applications, and, and and that's part of the reason I think uh, we continue to find ourselves loving FileMaker. Okay, well, tell me more about DB Services. Sure, sure. Um, so it's been about eleven years. We were founded in two thousand three. Um, today we have a staff of ten. Uh, we have seven certified developers, uh, and we really focus on the FileMaker platform. Um, and we offer, uh, to give you a little idea of, of our diversity, we have customers all across the globe. Um, we, we do, we're headquartered here in Indianapolis, Indiana, but 70% of our revenue is outside the state. Um, we, we provide five basic services. Um, we do the traditional development and, and project work. Uh, from from large scale projects to smaller scale projects, mm -hmm. uh, we do support. So people that come to us and say, "Hi, hey, I got this FileMaker database, make it work better," uh, we end up doing quite a bit of that as well. Uh, the third thing is that we find ourselves doing is training and coaching. Um, so very much so, we're full service. The so training is for uh, people that are just learning how to use FileMaker, not so much the developer stuff. The coaching is for those people that really want to embrace the development one on one. And, the relationship graph and reporting and scripting and all of those other adventurous places we find ourselves spending a lot of our time. Uh, then we, we also do licensing. We're an authorized reseller and uh, work with customers to figure out what's the best licensing that to get. Uh, uh, and last but not least, we do a little bit of hosting. But for the most part, uh, there's really not much we don't do on the platform. Um, and today we find ourselves uh, servicing uh, I'd say roughly a little over a hundred customers a year. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And you guys are a platinum level uh, FileMaker Business Alliance partner, right? Yes, yes, we are. We have been platinum for uh, uh, nearly two years now, um, and uh, are are continually expanding our ranks. We're finding ourselves uh, growing at about one to two people a year, at least at this clip, okay. uh, and hope to continue doing so. Wonderful. So. Um, I, I see on your website that you had a whole lot of certified developers. Uh, are most of your developers certified? Yes, uh, it's something that all of them strive to, to do. We, f we find um, that within typically six months is a good uh, uh, time frame for our, our team members to get certified. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I think we have five certified and 13 and a total of seven certified developers overall on staff. Okay. So uh, what's some of your favorite uh, FileMaker tools? That, well, uh, tips yeah, I, I'm, I'm very biased on this uh, because uh, there's one that we're, we're just, we use every day. You could walk around our office and see it almost open on everybody's machine. Mm -hmm. um, we use base elements. Okay. Uh, and I, have you used that one before? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, we love it. It's fast. It's built by Goya, um, Nicholas Orr. Um, they've done a great job building it. So we use it on, on, on applications we're building uh, throughout the day to make sure we're very thorough in, in any of the changes that we need to make. Uh, we also use it with new customers to do analysis and see exactly what's under the hood um, before we start uh, making recommendations. Um, and then, of course, we also use the free plugin. Um, if you've not used that, that's really cool, too. Um, that plugin allows you to do a lot of things. We call it the Swiss Army knife of plugins. Yes. Um, and, and it's free, right? You can't beat free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what Keeps the project cost down, right? Uh -huh. um, and so we've actually sponsored a few functions in the plugin over the course of years, um, like post and encryption. Um, and so we highly recommend if you've not used that or, or looked at that uh, to, to continue. And you can okay. contribute. It's open source. Uh, or if you choose to, you can uh, make a contribution and they could quote out the functionality and then it would be free to the community thereafter. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. And any other great tools? Those are our favorite tools. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, from a standpoint of tips and tricks, um, you know, you know as, as well as I do, uh, we're big fans of your newsletter um, and following uh, that because you really do aggregate great content in the community. And so... Uh, all of our staff, at least I've advised them to sign up, uh, and uh, anyone watching this should, should do so as well, because th those are fantastic uh, things that you're aggregating for the community. Thank you. Um, tell me something, what do you guys do, or you in particular, do outside of FileMaker? Uh, what are some of your favorite activities? <laughs> uh, how about, let's start off the things I want to do, right? <laughs> um, I find myself working most of the time, but I love fishing. Uh, I, there's nothing more relaxing than throwing a line in the water and watching it. Um, that's if I had all the time in the world in, in this theoretical place. Um, but outside of that, I end up doing uh, going to a lot of sporting events. I'm a season ticket holder of IU basketball. Okay. So you go to quite a few basketball games. This is Indiana, right? So we're a basketball state. Hoosiers, yeah. can't, can't beat watching the Hoosiers, especially if they're good. Uh, mm -hmm. I also go to you know some of the Pacers. They're pretty good and fun to watch. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy uh, baseball as well. We've got a fantastic AAA team here, um, and they have a great stadium, the Indianapolis Indians. And Cincinnati is really close, so they have a great ballpark. Uh, I love to go to see uh, the Reds play whenever they can. Um, those are a few things that I, I like to do. Now, the reality of it is I have a two- and three-year-old. And oh, um, so they, they are a lot of fun. Um, and we just went to the Great Wolf Lodge, which was a water park in Cincinnati last weekend. Okay. And so spending time with them and, and watching them grow is, uh, is, is really what I do day in and day out. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, I've got two of my own, but they're growing now. And then I have two grandkids that are two and four. So, and that's a lot of fun. They live right near us here. So, um, so you like to fish. Just a quick question on that. What do you like to fish for? I was bass fisherman and uh, for a lot of years still do it from time to time. Well, it depends on what you're, what you're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm, if I'm looking just to have a little fun in the sun, that's bass fishing normally, right? Mm -hmm. Largemouth bass. Right. Um, you know, maybe some crappie in the spring, depending on what you're doing. Um, if you're looking to have fun at night, I love catfishing um, for large okay. uh, catfish, yellow bellies, uh, and just sitting back and having a good time waiting for your, your, your line to move. So either one of them I thoroughly enjoy, enjoy and, and wish I did more of, that's for sure. Well, that's great. Um, well, that's pretty neat. Uh, and I guess now getting back to the business, you're, uh, you're looking to grow, as you're saying, uh, on a steady pace. And you're finding that there's a lot of business out there. That sounds like a good sign for most FileMaker developers. Uh, is, that, uh, is that true for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think that, that the, the, the world that we live in today, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're constantly hearing people trying to become more efficient, more effective. Uh, and if you really look back in the course of time and look at technology and you look at the advent of, of software, uh, it's played a huge role in that. And so nowadays you see even the smaller organizations and the big organizations uh, continually, we find ourselves uh, talking about integration uh, more than ever, whether it's uh, some shopping cart, right? or whether you're integrating with Salesforce or you're integrating with the shipping system or online merchant, uh, it just goes on and on. And instead of, instead of double data entry and making mistakes or things not being in real time, 
Um, I, I just don't see that changing for quite a bit of time. You're going to, everybody's going to be searching the best of breed systems and they're going to have a hodgepodge of them and you're going to be putting them together in your workflow and that's going to be your system. And, and FileMaker being the heart of that, uh, I don't think that's changing anytime soon. So because of all that, uh, we're, we're still constantly seeing a lot of opportunities out there and, and I don't think that's going to change. I think it's a pretty good analysis of the market. Uh, and by the way, for everybody out there, um, uh, Kevin is a, a blogger on FileMaker Pro Gurus. They post something up there about once a month. And I do appreciate their efforts to uh, help bring better content to the uh, to my website. And uh, it's just a, a, been a nice journey here. And I'm hoping that this series of interviews we're doing here will uh, just help I don't know, strengthen the market a little bit, let people know who's out there and how they do things and maybe get an idea of how they can uh, find some a path to success as well, uh, just like all these prominent people have here. So that's it for today, I think. And I sure appreciate it, Kevin, uh, for you joining us today. And uh, everybody out there, take uh, keep your eyes open. We're going to have another interview coming up in a series of interviews and uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks very much, Kevin. Take care. Thank you. There we go. I'll cut it right there. I really appreciate it. Uh, I like these these uh, these things because it's just it's nice to get to know people as well. It's just a lot of fun. Um, well, I I I I thoroughly uh, enjoy everything you've done, Don. And if there's anything we can do, you know, like I said, we'll continue to contribute. Uh, I, um, we will be posting. Every, we've got two articles actually sitting in the vault, um, <laughs> but we're we're uh, going to continue to contribute as much as we can. I appreciate that. All right. Well, thanks very much. You might want to get home to your, your kids and, uh, you know, <laughs> and if you're not working too late, that is. <laughs> well, thank you. I All right. We'll talk to you later. And, uh, right, take some fun time soon. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Just one more thing. If you like these videos and these interviews, please give us a plus on Google, tweet it, put it on Facebook, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Sure, appreciate it. Thanks.